control myself I'm running out of patience Only love can help There ain't no pill I'm taking That can erase your spell Gave up, there's no escaping You are my heaven and hell It's only you, only you For being a match of mercy Craving you, craving you It's true that I'm just ain't worthy I'ma lose, I'ma lose My mind cause the lines are blurred
We can't die here with no stories. Leave a legacy, don't you worry. We're the ones who wear the crown. We're fighters breaking out Welcome to TPO Esports. Uh, this, my name is Loki, and, welcome and I will eventually be joined by Lupul Impad. But unfortunately, he is not here right now. He's running a little bit late for um, work. So right now, we are headed right into draft uh, for these two teams. This is TPO Cheezer versus uh, Event Horizon Nix. Um, the first round of bans for uh, Event Horizon is Zach. Rek'Sai and Lilia uh, geared towards the uh, jungler of TPO. TPO bans Lissandra, Amumu, and Ari. Uh, the first three picks on the side of Nyx is Sejuani, a uh, very solid jungler. Uh, we have Zaya, Karma, Botlane, um, very strong. Um, Zaya's in a great state right now. Um, on the side of Cheezer, we have Nico being picked, first pick. Uh, I know Nico can be flexed uh, in both the mid and jungle. We have Rakan locked in for support. I'm not sure he's quite viable in any other lane, but I'm sure that somebody out here will argue with me. Um, Kaisa is locked in for TPO Cheezer. Thank you, uh, Lucy, I'm guessing. Um, so we're working on the second round of Bana phases. And... It looks like they're going to ban Akali. All right, nice. Ban as it is a very strong assassin and normally uh, results in some form of a gray screen simulator. Um, and it looks like they're gonna ban Pantheon that is um, headed towards Aztec Warpriest in the top lane. Um, a rumble ban comes through for the last ban for TPO Cheezer. And the last band for Nyx will be Vladimir. Sorry, Funny Beaver, you do not get to play this, but I am pretty sure Nico is going mid lane, so they have already picked their mid laner, but, you know, you never know. I kind of want to see a Zyra jungle. I did play it yesterday. The clear on that champion is absolutely amazing. Um, I literally found my new jungle one trick. Uh, we do see Maokai being hovered for TPO Cheezer. Uh, let's hope that TPO Cheezer is not arguing in their voice chat, um, as they normally do. And let's see. Waiting on the second round pick is a Gwen Hover. Jace. Uh, Jace Lockin. We did see a Jace played last night, and then Gwen is hovered again, and locked in let's go i am a gwen lover um she's very good she kind of counters any tanks that might be uh wanting to exist in a top lane i have learned recently that orn is a hard counter to gwen uh and then they insult gwen top lane and put that into the hands of one aztec war priest holy i am scared to see <laughs> what this team is cooking up here. Um, so with these being out, since I have nobody to argue with uh, regarding the uh, team comps, 
I'm just going to start the prediction and um, hope that this all goes well. Um, we've got um, Event Horizon on the blue side. We've got TPO on red side. Um, I'm going to up the timer to 10 minutes for this. All right, so make sure you use your channel points, get your votes out there. Let's see who will take game number one, as I'm sure this will be a very, very exciting game. Um, I'm interested to see how both of these teams, I've actually never seen Nick's play, um, but I will not underestimate anyone on any team as this is fair game for both teams, it looks like. Uh, <laughs> we're waiting for Aztec who had to announce that he had to take a break um, for a quick second. I'm hoping that Lupul gets his rear end in here. Lupul, I swear to God, I'm going to beat you when you get here. Don't rest. Aztec yelling at me in DMs, what is new? Okay. I'm not a hater. Listen, there's nobody here. To <laughs> Aztec voted against your team too. So uh, I, I, I don't wanna hear that. So oh, yes, we are just waiting on the teams to get back. I am waiting for Lupul. I'm gonna kill him. I swear to God. Um, but yes, very. I'm very excited to see this. Um, unfortunately, Jim is not. Is this supposed to be live by Clabby? I'm gonna kill this team already, okay. Um, so we are going to go into a client. And Aztec is now banned from creating custom lobbies as he failed to make it a draft. Draft lobby. He decided to uh, make it a, um, <laughs> he decided to make it a, uh, blind lobby, so I'm going to fire him. These guys, I swear to God. I am I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna murder Jesus in their sleep. I swear. Alright, I will switch us over to the client aspect. Aztec there's a rule for literally the the thing so let's not all right so this is going to be just your standard lineup they did announce it in team chat we've got gwen top sejuani in the jungle jace mid zaya karma bot lane Clud top maokai jungle nico and Kaisa Rakan bot lane. So I'm excited to see what this game will bring. Um, I'm going to go on a quick spectator delay and uh, hope that um, Lupul gets here in time for game number one. So don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Work, hustle, grind, hard, I ain't never gonna stop, nah All I do is work, hustle, grind, hard, level up until I drop, yeah Independent grind, got no a and R. They used to tell me I would never make it far But this vivid vision in my head is razor sharp So much weight on my shoulder, I'ma raise the bar Cincinnati flow, watch me crack the code Sick and savage mode, might just catch a cold Count my money up, yup, on my Casio Give me a bag of dough and I'ma bounce out of your Everybody 
know what comes around goes around Middle fingers up when I feel broken down My ribs are touching, I can hear my stomach growl Make no bones about it I keep it moving cause I got flow Trying to dodge every pothole I'm a rapping version of Picasso Invest everything that I got so I chip in my cheese like nachos Better myself and hit the lotto Estoy algo cansado, let's see why Everybody know what comes around, goes around Middle fingers up and I feel broken down My ribs are touching, I can hear my stomach growl Make no bones about it
Welcome back, everyone, to game number one of it is uh, Event Horizon Nix versus uh, TPO right. Cheeser. All right, welcome back, everyone, to and it looks like there's just a standard uh, five point start here. Uh, no level one or early shenanigans. Uh, we are still waiting on Loople. Um, okay, hold on one second here. Let's see if I can adjust my mic a little bit here. All right, is that a little bit better there, uh, Bebo? All right, so we're just going to have a little squabble here in the mid lane with Eureka taking a little bit of damage from this. Nico, I'm um, gonna have to remember to count his minions. Uh, Lupul did inform me he's going to be a little bit later as expected since he's having some IRL issues. A uh, nice knock up here from Magus in the bot lane. Um, it looks like Survive is being able to put out some hefty damage as well. Karma is a very, very damage uh, heavy poke champion. So um, I'm wondering how the top lane will go as I know Aztec is not a fan of facing a Gwen. A nice root from Funny Beaver comes out in the mid lane here, putting uh, Eureka at about half health here. Uh, survived getting some damage onto Florigato, does use their flash and ignite, but is not enough to take out the Kaisa. But it does chunk Magus and um, Lucy down to about half or like uh, almost no health, so they are kind of forced to back here. I'm um, hoping they're not going to greed. Aztec War Priest taking some serious damage and is going to fall to the Gwen first. A blood does go over to Juicy Games in the top lane. A Wild Lilia taking some damage as well. A flash comes through from the Sejuani. A teleport just come back in from Aztec War Priest. Um, Augusto as Sejuani walks out with half health. Juicy Game still sits at about half health with Aztec at full health. Um, Aztec goes back in with Sejuani re-engaging here. While Lily is not far behind, um, Funny Beaver and Eureka are just trading blows down here in mid lane. Uh, yes, Kat, currently I'm casting by myself. It's okay. Lupa will be here eventually. I'm st and I'm. I just want to let you know that I am drinking my coffee that I got from like noon this afternoon. Still, so I'm trying to keep the same like kind of tempo. Uh, Juicy Games doing a decent job of keeping their uh, minions under turret and is able to successfully farm that way. Very impressive, actually. I love seeing people play Gwen. Uh, Gwen is a fantastic champion. Yeah, I need to continue my tradition. Water down coffee. <laughs> yes, Kuba. Yes. Um, it looks like Karma did roam mid to provide a little assistance against this Nico. We do have the Hex Hectory coming up in about 30 seconds. Looking to see what, who is going to contest it. Because Karma did spot a Wild Lilia trying to take that Scuttle Crab, which was secured. It does look like both teams... Um, don't have a whole lot of vision down, uh, which, you know, these teams obviously know what they're doing. TPO Cheese has been playing a while. Uh, Nyx has been a team for quite some time. They were uh, rebranded from Evo to Nyx. Um, I am very excited for them to be joining the league here. Um, Aztec and uh, Juicy Games is kind of playing a uh, back and forth um I'm going to call it a snipping match only because there's Gwen with her scissors, so. 
The coffee coming, <laughs> yes. Bebo, I have a coffee thing where I always hang on to it for like the entire length of my uh, day when I'm casting. Um, it does look like uh, the bot side of Nyx was trying to get some vision onto the dragon to kind of prevent a wild Lilia from taking it on spawn. However, wild Lilia is seen top side and is going to go in and root this Gwen, knock them into Aztec. And is this going to be enough damage? And it is this kill is secured by Aztec War Priest. Augusto did roam mid lane for a gank, however, was uh, semi unsuccessful as Funny Beaver was able to half health them. The root from Zaya does come out onto Florgato. Bro, I need some coffee. Listen, like I'm feeling, I'm feeling like the lack of caffeine today, man. I'm telling you, really feeling it today. Um, uh, the oof, nice uh, damage coming out from surviving Phoenix Fire. Phoenix Fire is a very good ADC. I've um, I've watched him play in in houses several times, so I know that whatever heat they've got they can bring it the ult comes out for gwen onto aztec war priest but it does not connect however a wild lilia is going to come in and attempt to save the day as aztec war priest gets lower and lower the ignite from gwen does come out but a wild lilia does take out um juicy games i'm not calling it a wild lilia that's not nah, let's 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 be honest guys um all right, dragon still up. It looks like Sejuani does start this, um, and is going to go uncontested. A wild lily is probably looking for um, the what do you call it? Um, Rift Herald. I'm gonna turn this game up because it sounds awfully low to me. I don't know if it's low to you guys, but we're gonna turn it up a little bit. Sound effects. All right, Funny Beaver has taken a kill on Eureka here in the mid lane. Lucy is playing broken guys, the easy one. You know what? You'd be surprised because uh, Zion is very strong in the um, state right now. So I would not underestimate the Zaya. Um, what is it? Nyx was able to get two turret plates off of the bot lane. Aztec War Priest did get two plates in the top lane, so I'd say that's pretty much even. The gold is actually fairly even, only a 500 gold difference in the favor of Cheezer. Scoreline's currently 1-3. to three. Um, Gwen does pop that, um, that shield in top lane, but Aztec is continuing to chase her down. Survived Rome's top lane, hoping to get some assist um, up here. However... Aztec just does his dashy dashy thing out. The root from Karma comes out, but is not going to connect. The ult from Malkai does come out, though. Roots out survive, and the damage is just incredible. In the bot lane, Phoenix is able to shut down Lucy. Um, Augusta here is in a rough spot and is uh, taking some damage from pretty much the entire side of. Um, Snum does shut down Augusto. Aztec shuts down Juicy Games in the top lane. A 2-6. to six, Now a 1k gold lead. Uh, this TPO Cheezer uh, was the second place winner last um, split. And I have no doubt that they are going to show up this time. Phoenix Fire taking some damage from Funny Beaver. And it is enough to come through. Funny Beaver does secure this kill. Eureka's kind of left to their own accord. Survive is here. Funny Beaver, dangerously low. Um, the root from Karma does not land on to Snum, and Snum's able to peacefully walk out. Um, Cheezer is definitely showing what they're made of, um, which is what we've seen pretty much all along. They've been a fairly consistent team since we played with them in Mythic, which now seems years ago. It seems like miles and miles away, but uh, Aztec is not going to be able to back in peace you, my friend, that was a very scary back. Um, Aztec War Priest is going to fall to the Gwen. Yes, there we go. I was waiting for it to come out. All right, three to seven. 
only uh, 1200 gold lead. We're doing pretty solid here. Um, I am um, watching. Also, I have the stream up for the LES game, which is TPO versus. Um, I forget who they're up against. I want to say it's New Origins right now, but Jim's screen is blocking everything. So, um, a wild Lilia does try to do some one on one with the Augusto and Juicy games here in top lane. However, Gwen, you are dangerously low, my friend, and does fall to Aztec War Priest. Aztec is going to continue to chase Sejuani because why wouldn't Aztec chase? I think Aztec only knows how to uh, to show up and crave violence. Um, now, item-wise right now, since I haven't really had a chance to talk about it, solo casting is more difficult than I thought it would be. The ult comes out from Funny Beaver onto uh, Eureka and shuts him down. Um, the first turret in top lane is going to fall to Cheezer. We have the second Drake of the game up in 45 seconds, which is Ocean Drake. Uh, we've got a full Sunfire on Maokai. We've got um, Noon Quiver on both ADCs, uh, Boots for Karma. We've got the Rift Maker on Gwen. And Gwen shuts down Aztec War Priest as he is continuing to chase. Oof. Uh, this bot lane turret is hanging on by a thread and nice roam from Eureka here to uh, help out his teammates, but here comes Snommers. Um, this Phoenix Fire is just outputting those feathers, attempting to get some roots out. Uh, not, they do have alt available, but I don't think that's really something that they need to take. Eureka is going after uh, Magus there and was able to secure the kill. Uh, both Eureka and Phoenix Fire are fairly low. In comes Funny Beaver and it helps as, or helps us Snom shut down Eureka. The ult from uh, Phoenix does come out, not really shutting down anyone. Snom does take out Augusto again. That was a three for zero treat. It does leave Lucy at very little health. However, it still is kills here. So it's five to 13. The second Drake is going to go over to Cheezer, which is going to be the first Drake for them of the game. All right. I mean, <laughs> these guys are popping right now. Um, really, really showing up quite a performance. Um, I had kind of expected the game, the first game, to be a little rough till both teams kind of get acquainted with each other um, as they were a little bit of a late addition. Um, Aztec going, uh, doing Aztec things and diving <laughs> is uh, attempts to get a kill and to survive, but however, survive's doing a good job of surviving here. Um, Aztec, oh, why is the... Directed camera hating me. All right, uh, Juicy Games shuts down Lucy. <laughs> While Lilia shuts down uh, the Jace. Everyone is just killing each other, guys. Listen, it's only one, only one person. Holy. <laughs> All right. Um, a Wild Lilia is now taken over the jungle of Nyx. However, Gwen's not giving up top lane. She's going to take down the tier one turret here. Uh, Gwen's ability to take down turrets like never ceases to amaze me. So like that, this is why that champ is like one of my favorite top laners. Yeah, I really can't believe that Aztec made that out if we're being honest. Um, let's see. I'm checking in on Ray. And Jim, the scoreline is 0 to 6. That's not good, but I think we kind of expected that. Um, all right. What have we got coming up here? Survive and Augusto are really on to killing Magus. Was able to shut down um, Magus as Rakan. Unfortunate. Um... Snum is 5-0-6 oh, with a Radiant Virtue. The ult from Clit comes out. So does the ult from Snum. 
uh, doing some damage onto Augusto and is going to take him down. This is kind of what um, later game Kaisa does. So, uh, Kaisa gets a double kill. <laughs> This is why this champ is like one of my favorite. Aztec is going to fall here to Phoenix Fire. A little bit of a greedy play from Aztec War Priest, as we have seen very much in the past. Um, I love that that little emote cat. It's uh, what that dog doing since Snell makes a jump in a call, play that soundboard, and then leave. Uh, welcome to the world of TPO. <laughs> All right, so the tier one in mid does fall. We have the second Rift Herald of the game up. Um, it looks like Cheezer is headed for them. Scoreline is now 18 to nine. I don't know that that gold difference. I didn't really like do math. Um, yeah, Aztec was pretty close. However, you know, we all know that Aztec likes to take risks here. He's probably one of the craziest top laners that I've ever seen play. Um, so Magus is trying to back on a ward. Magus, 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 what am I going to do with you guys? Alright. Um, this team's showing no mercy to each other. Oh my god. Uh, Funny Beaver is able to take out Juicy Games. Big fight down here at Harold Pit. Uh, the ult from Phoenix is does come out, unable to really land a whole lot. Aztec War Priest takes out Eureka. Um, Florigato does take out Juicy Games. Aztec is playing with fire with, uh, with... Phoenix, however, is not afraid to re-engage, but uh, I have a feeling that if they get close enough, they're going to be able to shut this guy down, so. Oof. All right. Magus does land that kill. That's amazing. Nice job, guys. Both teams are playing it out really well. Um, Survive is kind of coming up. Juice Games back in the picture here. Um... Ooh, Magus has taken some hefty damage here. Uh, Eureka is able to shut down Magus, and it looks like Juicy Game shuts down Aztec War Priest. As Funny Beaver and Snom start that third Drake of the game, this is a Cloud Drake, which does put them at second Dragon. I gotta say, CS-wise, all lanes are fairly even. Um... Survive is a little bit behind, not that far. Um, the Rift Herald, I believe, was dropped down a bot side, but was not able to connect to the turret, so that's fine. Uh, Phoenix is seen roaming down to bot lane um, to get clear that minion wave, hopefully get this kill on Funny Beaver, as he is 508 sitting with a 500 gold bounty. That's going to be 800 gold to whoever is able to shut them down. Uh, there is an 800 gold <laughs> bounty on Snum, if anyone can get close enough. Uh, yeah, actually, Koopa, I agree. With uh, Megas and Snum playing on tiny laptops in, in a hotel room, they're really not doing bad. So, um, I gotta give them props here. Um, I'm just looking at the build for... Lucy, I see the static shiv on Kaisa. Um, I think the Nash of Truth is Nest. I would love to see somebody build Duskblade because I think that's just get amazing all around. So, so let's see what happens. A little bit of a squabble here in the uh, top jungle of Nyx. They're just trying to get some vision down, but both teams, like the entire entirety of both teams are here. Uh, nice engage from Magus onto both Gwen and the Sejuani. Um, spells are just being thrown out left and right here. Um, oh. 
You guys are wild, man. I can't really keep up with y'all. A nice alt from the Nico comes out, takes out Juicy Games, takes out Sejuani. Double kill. Double kill for Kaisa for on um, the um the Zaya and Karma and I need blue ball. Man. All right, Baron is up. And look at, I just wanted to point out the vision from Cheezer. They have vision all over the place. This is absolutely um, amazing how much vision they've got plays. They're really, really um, stepping up here. And they're just going to burn this uh, Baron down. There's a lot of damage out on the side of Cheezer. And thank you, Lupul, for finally showing up. Now I'm going to kill you. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, no, Lupo. I am drums. back into the casting play-by-play -play seat. How are we all doing today? Looks like cheesers are starting to burn down this barrel. They're doing amazing on the side. Uh, so from what I heard, I'm sorry, I overheard that both Nam and Magus are playing on itty bitty little MacBook laptops. Uh, they are both playing on, on, um, on laptops. Yes, that is that is correct. Um, <laughs> it is amazing how well some per some people can actually do on laptops. Right. Um, I used to play on a laptop, mind you. I used to play on a MacBook Pro. I used to play on a there. Chromebook, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, Aztec War Priest overstepping his bounds, but he is cled. He does not care. He hits that Wait, special. Wait, what time are you out there, my friend? Zoom. I think I am behind you. Uh, uh, I'm at twenty-one fifty-eight, fifty-nine, twenty-two. Okay. There is a problem because I am on the spectate side, so I will let you talk, and I will talk about builds. How about that? <laughs> it's fun. Just catch up with me, man. Listen, I've been talking, um, trying to entertain people, man. Whew. Well, the problem is, is that it... Oh, wait, okay. So I should be at what time? Uh, 22.20. Awesome. I had a spectator delay even getting in. I had to restart my client, which is very unfortunate. It put me very All right, behind. Tell me when you're at 22.29. Are you there no. now? 30, 31, 32. Okay. All right, we synced up now. All right, I think we synced up now. Okay. <laughs> wow, these cheesers playing really good. They should, we should rage their rages. Um, no, I think not. I think that they should. Um, the most that they're going to be getting is extra cheese with their whining. Just. Saying. Oh okay. my God, that was a good one. <laughs> okay, I'm happy with that one. Uh, looks like uh, but Aztec. I'm looking at the builds right now. Funny Beaver. And uh, Snom are literally kind of running it with their uh, with the Nico Maokai. Um, oh yeah. Have, seen, have, have we seen any funny plays with the uh, with um, with the Nico by chance? Have we seen any? Funny I haven't plays? really seen it. I was kind of hoping that one of them would turn in like that. Um, funny Beaver would turn into a Gromp and then walk as a Gromp to the other Gromp to pull off a, a, a Justin, but uh, it, it didn't. Oh, happen. he wants to, you. You mean knocking knocking frogs? Yeah. You mean Kermit the Frog finding, <laughs> finding his lover? Yes. All right, got it. Okay. But it does look like uh, both Snom and everybody else, Aztec doing very well, making sure that the enemy team, Largado, oh my going gosh. straight in on a Gwen. That was amazing initiation on the side of Florgato with Aztec War Priest following up, main, making sure Eureka is having a very hard it's time. It's Eureka, by the way. Eureka. Thank you. Eureka. <laughs> Cannot get Aztec off his ass. Just saying. I mean, Cled. it's it's Aztec one and it's Cled two. I mean, I don't I know mean, how much more we wanted to expect. I mean, we could talk about Aztecs. Here comes oh the my funny God, Beaver. Let's go. That was very well done. Very well done. Very quick. It wasn't. It was not. No hesitation with that initiation. It was very nice. Uh, this combination of champions that the Cheezers have on their side, very clean. Uh, they know how to move around the map. I think the only way that uh, Nyx can literally get out of this hole, I know I see that it's about 11k difference of gold, is to literally have multiple people kind of at CC chain Aztec War Priest. Yeah, they're gonna have to do something because Aztec's getting out of control. There you 40 go. Stack. There you go. There you go. Exactly <laughs> but as we but say that, right? To, Juicy had to. Juicy had to use night on Aztec, which makes it very, very scary now. So now I see, we all see the pings coming from Zaya. There's the pings coming down, making sure that we all see that the Nico and the 
uh, Maokai have these ma Nico, Maokai, and the Kaisa have these massive bounties. Yeah. Gold you know, wise, I. I just have ahead. to say that they, like they started out even. Like these guys were even in gold, and then somebody left Aztec War Priest alone, and we all know what happens when Aztec gets left alone. Or protein powder. <laughs> protein powder. Oh, oh, oh no, Lucy. Fighting, oh, very nice by the Kaisa getting used, utilizing the outer circle of the ultimate to get out on the other side of that wall. Big very nice on that part. How the fuck do you lose lane to Kaisa Rakan as Zaya Karma? Um, skill difference. The Tyler is right here, Zero. Uh, it is a humongous skill difference. Um, Eureka almost taking out Lucy with a combo. I think about one or two more items will give Eureka that ability to start one-shotting both Bunny Beaver and also Lucy. Um, I honestly have to say that if you play it properly, uh, hope these teams... Uh, Bio Kaisa next week. You're a Kalen player, Zerobi. Sit down. And plus, I want to know how much LP you lost because of that skin. I gifted, nice I, I gifted him K, uh, pool party Kalen. He said he was going to be losing 100 LP to, as he was staring at the uh, Ooh, you know, funny main element. Oh, yes! Ooh, <laughs> that was nice. That Rakan was really good. Both, both really Lucy good. Funny Beaver with the initiation from the ultimate. Here comes Lucy coming in, taking down the Karma. Uh, Lucy trying to get away. Zaya popping the ultimate. Oh, nice flash. Both. Oh, oh my go. god. Popping off. Here we go. That cage is still. Oh no, snow. But oh no. Everything going on poorly with the CC chain, both from Aztec, Snom, and Funny Beaver. Well played on the side of Nyx. That was a nice try to try oh, to yeah. make sure that they do not end out the game like this. But I still don't think that they end out the game. There's six seconds coming up on the Karma. The Jace is up. I honestly believe that the Jace can wave clear with the correct combo. He just has to make sure he keeps them away from the turret. Knock them away. Knock them away. Very well. Nice job. Eureka can't go after him. All right. Here comes, yep, they were able to stop them with the abilities of Nyx. Aztec going down to the side of Nyx. Phoenix Fire gets the kill. Very nicely done. Phoenix needs that gold. He does. They're going to, like, this game is just going on and on, and I hope that the, the players aren't starting game two without us, because I'll kill them. Um, I had a bit of a spectator issue, so... But um, I'm kind of hoping to see Nyx crawl their way back in. Unfortunately, like, Nyx was not a team that was planned, and they, you know, very nicely came in and joined us um, very unexpectedly. So I got to hand them, like, props that they, you They're know. They're forcing I'm, the Baron. They are forcing they are the forced. Baron. This is not a great plan because I don't well, know. Well, Clet's still well. Clet's still dead. Clet's oh, Clet, dead. yeah, Clet is dead. That's kind of like where I was like, you know, oh, maybe they can do okay, this, not, but Snum. The there goes. Oh, Beaver! Beaver. No, stop it! Damage. You're, you're hurting Phoenix people. Fire does not have ultimate. They lo they lose it, and there goes Lucy with the quadra kill. They're gonna oh teleport into the base. Here comes Aztec War Priest ending this game. And Funny Beaver, ending it with Aztec. Funny Beaver getting the plus 50 gold. Well played on the side of Cheezers. What is this, game one? Uh, yes, this is game one. Okay, awesome. I didn't miss that much. No. I apologize, everybody. I definitely blame Emily. She told me to what make the... a left when I was supposed to make a right. Oh, um, yeah, because so... I know California, man. Yeah. California people, I swear to God. Where do you live now? Uh, I don't, uh, North Carolina. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Think about that for a second. All right. I honestly thought that you said almost said New York for a second. I was I was actually going to. I'm not gonna lie. All right. I think we're gonna go on a bit of a break. Really. Yes, quick. we Why are. We um, let me get the right thing pulled up. All right. Yes, we're gonna go on a quick break. Um, for get ready for game number two. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
are back live for game number two draft. What's up? Again, I am Lupo. The one, the only, the one from Mythic Esports. I mean, wait. Where, 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 where? <laughs> where, you're in the wrong one, buddy. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm leaving now. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Lupo and I were casters in Mythic Esports way back when. And let me tell you, we were a force to be reckoned with. Actually, yeah, we Emily we got in trouble yeah. more than we were not in trouble. We um, were not we were not worth the trouble that we always gave. Uh, Wookie, Wookie. And Riley, <laughs> and even Magic, and you know from uh, Primus. Primus and I were not great together because we would. Primus is playing story. now in LAS, by the way. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Oh my God! Also, one of our favorite people. Hot shout out to. Our one, the only, I Hardcore. Those of you who remember him, he is Stop! back in the LAS. Stop, he, man. Everybody give him oh, love no. during LAS. Oh, no. Give him love during <laughs> LAS. We are all surprised to see he decided to crawl out of the uh, area where, which he, I don't know. He said he was from Texas, right? I have no idea, but we are not going to talk about I Hardcore. All right, all right, we ready to go? Let's get this going. We are ready to get f ready for the draft of game number two. Let's uh, go. All right, let's. So, let me say. I don't think they're gonna ban Nico. Go ahead, go. They gotta ban Nico. I hardly doubt it. Nico's not a problem. Nico's not a problem. What? Giving Aztec. Oh wow. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you eat your words, learn man. Count, lear, learn to count minions. That's all I gotta say. Learn to count minions. I mean, you're League of Legends players. You, you, I. I guarantee you, if I ask any of these players what their KDA stat is in their ranked game, in a single ranked game, they could tell me in a heartbeat. But they can't count minions for some odd reason. I can't count minions, man. I mean, what are you doing? Why do you hate me? I can't count minions. Yeah, um, they... One melee, two melee, three melee. I don't know how many melee minions there are. Um, are moving you... on. I want to talk about it. Um, I wonder why Lily got banned. I wonder why uh, a Maokai got banned, too. Um, <laughs> but on the side of TPO, they decide to ban Lissandra, Mumu, Ari. And on the side of EHZ, we see a Nico, Lilia, Maokai ban. But TPO prioritizes that Kaisa for Lucy. But EHZ Ooh. comes back with a great pick. This is a great pick, an Ash Nautilus. Um, Absolutely. If there were two, wa uh, two waves or more, you should always count minions if they're... <laughs> three, one cannon. Thank you, Ripper. Also, you can rip on Emily for that one. <laughs> I know. As a, Moving on. As an ADC meet, I can't count minions, man. <laughs> How do you keep track of your CS? I don't. I don't okay. Know, man. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> oh Jungle, gosh. Great pick here. This no. is an awesome pick. No. No. It's I pick. hadn't. I I wanted them to pick something and they didn't do it. We need to replace no. them. I, I mean, honestly, if Aztec picks the right champion, if you take Shaco top, I'll hit the gritty on stream. Uh, you can turn on my cam. You can turn. I'll turn on my camera. You can turn. You can turn it towards me, and I will actually <laughs> hit the gritty on stream. If he Ooh. picks Shaco top lane, I will hit the gritty on stream. What is gritty? I don't want to show them. Would they have yeah. Pref Ash being an MF, but they still Resh. should dominate? Thresh and Kaisa is is like literally my favorite bot lane. It's probably just as scary as uh, Nautilus. Uh, Nautilus Swain, uh, actually Swain MF is very strong. Oh my gosh! But Nautilus, yes. Nautilus, M Nautilus MF has the same effect. But for oh. Ash here, <laughs> they banned Aztecs at Olaf. Apparently, they do not fear Kled enough, unless that's going to be the last ban. But then they're leaving Vladimir open for Funny Beaver. But they're not gonna leave Vladimir open, so they're gonna try to figure out something. I think they're. I think that Poppy is for the top laner. Just saying. Uh, the reason being is because they're probably gonna let Aztecs Kled get through, uh, letting them, letting him kind of just try to steamroll. But Poppy's W does help with the fact that. Oh, oh no, they, they ban banned the Kled. Never, never mind. You know what? Eat my words. <laughs> I am a horrible caster today. You know what? We're caster cursing, man. I'm retiring. I'm retiring. All right, so moving on. What do we think about these drafts? So far, um, 
I don't like the side of EHZ. I, the reason why I don't what? like the side of EHZ, I don't like it. Corky is situational. If you don't, if you don't start to steamroll the game early, you don't do well. Um, it's kind of hard for you to come back into the game, especially into a Syndra. A Syndra is a great pick into a Corky. Like basically, make sure that you can't stack up your first strike. Um, Syndra will have the uh, basically lane cryo the whole time because she can kind of. Uh, keep you away and push you away and all that. Um, oh, actually, but... no support, Ripper. You're like I do like the Pike Kate. We did see it uh, yesterday. I do, I do. I have to say that that it worked very well. Uh, there's what a Yone hover. Wait, what? What? Is, what are we doing here? This is if they pick this, Poppy literally counters more than half their team. Ripper's right. Uh... Poppy, Poppy, they just literally countered themselves with Poppy W. Yeah, but like, who plays? I'm so confused. I swear, Aztec, that's not Shaco. <laughs> I'm not hitting the gritty because of that. Nope, you picked Yon. I'm not hitting the gritty. So that is a poppy top lane, by the way. Oh my gosh, lane. that's a Zin Zao. I gotta actually, hand it to Event Horizon this this game actually because their draft literally is going to. Beat the life out of. Um... Yes, I, 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 I have to, I have to, I have to agree with Zero here. Wait, um, are, are you feeling okay? You never agree with me, man. I said not you. I said zero. <laughs> not Emily. Remember, Zero. Zero is different than Emily. I mean, Zero KDA. That's Emily, but. You know, that's... Suck it! I can't say okay. what I want to. Jim will yell at me. I have to be put on my best behavior, man. You're ruining it. Uh, so, I have to say, I will agree with Zero. The Corky is... Um, Corky will protect Corky and Ash will... Uh, while Zen and Not are just CSing people for ages. Ooh. CSing people for ages. That's true. But if the... I don't think the... It depends on how well TPO plays into this. Because I have a feeling that they're gonna bait out the W oh. from Poppy very, very quickly in a team fight. I'm just that confused just has... as to where these guys are going because I don't think I've seen Aztec play Syndra I have... or Yon. I have a feeling he's playing Yon top lane. I mean, Yon is like one of Funny Beaver's mains. <coughs> Unless... <coughs> exactly, I'm so confused. Does Sevens play Syndra? I swear to God, I'll have a brain aneurysm. Does I will have a Syndra? brain aneurysm. This is like some sort of tactical baptism shit going on here. Just saying. <laughs> like, this is some tactical baptism shit going on here. Like, I'm not playing here. Like, I honestly believe that it's Kaisa Syndra bot lane. Aztec's no. gonna troll with the Thresh top lane. Well, we're about no. He's gonna lock in Yone top. No. <laughs> this man just countered himself <coughs> against a poppy. <coughs> this poppy's gonna pin him against the wall. Say, hey, baby, mama, let me whisper in your ear. You know what? Like, uh, I mean, I've seen Snom on Zach. Zach Snom does honestly um, do very well. It's a great engage for, like, if he's trying to gank or something, but I it's just... A it's going to be a great wombo combo. If oh, they, it definitely if TPO is. Can, if TPO can knock... The, if they can do this, so they would need a Yone ultimate into a Zac ultimate into a, uh, basically, uh, Thresh Cage into a Kaisa ultimate on the other side. Yeah, it, it's kind of a thing that they can do, you know what I mean? Yeah. But the thing is, is that there's one single button that counters this whole thing if they do not do it right, and it's a Poppy W. Like, literally, the Poppy W stops it. Also, I have to say, the Jin Zhao safe pick, not the best option, I don't think. Because the Zack and the Thresh will be, po like, will, will kind of be bringing the Jin Zhao to the, towards TPO. And I don't think that it's going to be that great, to be honest, with the fact that they have a lot more poke. And we've seen Lucy's positioning. Lucy knows exactly 
how far they need to hold to get out of any engage that Poppy might do. Now, mind you, Poppy W, again, it comes back to the Poppy W. If they play it properly, it can go well. If it doesn't, then we may even kind of like see a steamroll. This matchup's going to be really It low. just takes one team fight. Yeah, yeah, it really just takes one team fight to kind of set the precedence for the game. So let's see how this turns out. Um, Louisville and I are going to go on a short spectator delay. Hopefully it's shorter this time the last time uh, to get ready for game number two. So don't go anywhere. We will have more shenanigans very, very shortly.
Shank Dub. All right. Take us in. Whatever. What's good, everybody? We are back. Game number two. Cheezers versus Knicks. Looks like we're not going to see that many shenanigans coming from the Knicks side, but Cheezers. Oops. It's in the name. Hi. It's in the name. The oh, my God. What did you hit now? <laughs> oh, oh no. Run. No, the poppy. Here comes the poppy. There's no poppy to save the side of Knicks. And the first blood goes over to Lucy. That is not the person you want to have the kills to. Did you mute me? Was I not talking? Was no, you're, you're good. Okay, all right. What did you do? Um, I just hit uh, control shift C by accident. Uh, what's your time? Uh, I'm currently at 106, 107, 108, 108 109. 109. We're good. All right. All right, we're synced up again. Yes. Awesome. Um, I hit buttons, so man. <laughs> Kaisa strikes again. Yeah, Kaisa, Kaisa getting first kill, not the greatest um, for the it's side fine. of Nyx, but we can make it work. Nyx can still make it work. As long as the Ash can kind of, you know, farm their way into uh, their items, I think the Ash can do well. Phoenix Wire can actually do really well. Uh, <laughs> um, but it all just kind of depends. Kaisa is a free LP champ at the moment. Yes, yes, you are very correct. Um, that survive is, is sneaky sneakies. No, no, the Ash no, it's is not, not up with him. The Ash is not up with him. It's not a great idea. The Ash was not paying attention to the fact when survive. Uh, so Phoenix was not paying attention to when survive, 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 survive. yeah, survive. survive. Uh, comes in. It looks like Snob is coming in for a level two gank. It is going to be not a great place for Nyx to be. To be honest, we're seeing a Noodle Fest up in the top lane. Juicy Games kind of getting their butt handed to them. If they can do this play right, I believe that they can honestly do it. If they flash W, uh, flash E them straight into the turret after they did damage, that could do well for them. Thrash throws a hook and misses. Oh, but it goes wide. Survive. Survives hook, hits nice and hit. Uh, Ooh, flash. we see more flashes, we see Ignite! Here's the flash room. Oh my gosh, yes! Phoenix. Go! This is oh. why I love Ash! Oh. Yes! Nice we go. job, Double guys! Kill. Double kill? Well done. Nicely played, very nicely played. Oh, and there is no. the Aztec Recall! No! Hello? Oh my god. What just god. happened? Oh. What did I just witness? Oh, survive is... What the heck? Ah. Snom. Snom? Snom. Snob, that's not where you want to be, buddy. Did you hit? <laughs> oh no! Snob, the blubs. Get yourself a... the blubs. Wow, wow. Okay. Oh you know my what? gosh. I'm not mad. I'm not mad about it. <laughs> this makes the game more interesting. Get off the damn laptops, Snob. Get off the damn laptop. It's you know what? You they, you know, they, they're playing exceptionally well for being like they're on vacation, man, and they're showing up for this game. Nice job, but they use two flashes. From the side of Nyx to get the one flash from Funny Beaver plus the kill. Funny Beaver Ooh. still has the teleport, um, but it does look like, uh, you know, Eureka is doing very well in the farm department. Doesn't want to overstay too much, though, because that could potentially go horribly wrong. We see the pings go on the bot side for the wards to come down. Emily, how are we looking so far? You know what? Honestly, we I got to say, this is looking promising for Nyx because they have a 3 and 0. Oh ash do you know what happens with a three you know ash she snowballs she is <laughs> i'm kidding no oh I'm talking, I'm talking <laughs> no about no this game yeah no that, we're not talking about me asshole we're not talking about um, our, my game my ranked games oh my <laughs> gosh survive getting the hook, showing the up again phoenix oh my gosh that's you know amazing what? good place. now i know why they didn't even they said you know we're not afraid of kaisa because you're not gonna ban ash and Ash is one of the people that can counter Kaisa if played correctly. That's why if somebody locks in Ash, I'm like, you know oh, what? Oh, there's that I'll W. You. Yep, that's there's going that to just screw outside War Priest Funny over. Funny Beaver does not have flash this time to get away. We oh my for the gosh. Mid lane, in the mid lane. Um, Juicy getting hurt by the side of Aztec. We see the pings coming up. Looks like Augusto is coming up for that kill. Aztec has no idea. There is no ward. Juicy game. Oh trying to make gosh. sure he stays down. 
Oh, no, I don't want to see bot lane. I want to see Aztec <laughs> die. Let me see it. Phoenix Fire getting another oh kill. Oh my god. But there goes the Ignite. Oh, oh no. Phoenix Fire going to oh, die no. to Lilia. There goes Snom. There you go. Aztec dies to Augusto. Well done. Wow. Well done to the side of Nyx. But huge shutdown going over to Snom. It is a 700 gold grand total. 400 gold bounty. Plus 300 gold that he got. That will snowball Zach into basically where Gusto is, unfortunately, because catch up EXP is sucks. Yeah, you know what? I'm not a fan of catch up XP. I think I said this yesterday. Like, I just don't like it. I feel like it gives too we much to people that are like behind. We had a conversation about it. Yeah, yeah, we did. Um, I do think that. Uh, like, maybe Nyx had, like, a little bit of um, stage fright game number one, and now, like, you know what? We got this. We're going to take this by storm. Y'all can't stop this, so. It's 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 a great it's a great redemption game right oh now. Oh, my God, yes. Side of Nyx. Uh, I, I will admit, though, like, Juicy kind of pinning Aztec to the wall, just like how I said it was going to happen. This is exactly what the, how this top lane was supposed to happen. Like, Juicy was just yeah. going to get tanky. They already has plated steel caps. Great choice. Oh, the W comes out a little too soon from the side, from the side of Juicy. But Aztec does have some vision on Augusto. Is he going to ult, though? Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh. Yes. That was great. Yes. <laughs> that animation cancel was amazing. That was, that was good. That's great played by Event Horizon. You guys are really showing off this game. You're really bringing the heat. I want a game three so badly, and I'm I'm demanding it at this point. So we do have I Infernal mean, Drake, unfortunately, as a first Drake. So you can't you, demand something. How dare you? I can do whatever I want. How dare you? Oh, all right. Oh, we see Snom. We see Snom in the bot lane. Phoenix is a bit overextended. Survive is behind Phoenix for some reason. Um. Because he wants to be? No, he can't be behind Phoenix. He's supposed to stand in front of Phoenix. Oh. Support. Um, oh, so you mean that ADCs aren't supposed to front line? Emily, have you been playing ADC <laughs> wrong again? Oh, my God. You know what, Jim's always like, get behind me, get behind me. I'm like, no. I want a Leroy I mean, Jenkins this, man. I mean, okay, I'm sorry, but Emily, this is where the zero KDA kind of plays into play. <laughs> and also the split pushing, I don't know. Um, both Phoenix, uh, <laughs> Phoenix uses the W, survived, has no Q for a few seconds, cooldown's going on. Uh, Phoenix has not shot a Hawk shot, but I think they know that the way that, uh, TPO is playing, that yeah. Nom has to be around. There's the Hawk shot, they see Vision inside that bush, they don't see, they no longer see Snom, but we see the pings coming down from the jungler on Event Horizon. They are doing, they're roaming the map very well. Um, oh, I have to agree with you there. Nice. Oh my Very gosh, well the ult comes out. Woo! Okay, there's the there's uh, Snob's passive popping again, giving it to Augusto. Unstoppable five and oh. Oh my Jin god. Zhao, a Look at this is now, ash. This ash is terrifying. Like I don't even want, I wouldn't even want to fight them. I just feel like I'm I'm gonna stand a turret, man. I mean, Eureka or Augusto is strong enough to literally solo this Drake. Yeah, I mean, nine minutes in, when you're five and zero, and you have the ability for the chain uh, Iron Whip spike, it's 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 a great it's a great look right now for the side of uh, uh, Event Horizon. It's not missing that W on the Eureka, but looks like he's gonna bounce around. Devins goes down. There goes Augusto with another oh, kill. No. He is right outside of turret range, so it doesn't hit him when he does. He doesn't even hit Nom, which is great play by him. <laughs> this man is blowing my mind right now. Well done for oh the side of gosh. Event Horizon. Nice job for Phoenix taking uh, after Survive hits it. Survive backs away. Phoenix starts putting down the damage. Death down goes Lucy. I can't believe this. And now, Snob, I thought Snob was about to engage there. I was really concerned. Um, I, yes. I, I, I literally, I got to hand this to, to Nyx. They're showing up again. Corky's got package, guys! 
And not to mention, Ash has the Kraken Slayer. For now, Poppy is good with her W. Yeah. Right now, there was like a little... There, I was a bit of shaky with a couple W's that uh, Juicy popped out against, um, you know, Aztec. Oh, but my gosh. Right Look now, at the gold. Doing so what? Look at the oh gold gosh, difference in bot lane. What is it? Um, a lot. I don't do math, Lupo. Oh my god. It's a 2,000 gold difference between the AD carries. Almost 2,000 difference on the AD carries. Oh, there's a Corgi package! Let's down go! Down goes Aztec. Eureka comes out <laughs> in the top lane to make sure Aztec stays down. Aztec was a menace to society last game, but now it is both Eureka, Augusta, and Phoenix saying, knock, knock, this is our house now. Sit down. <laughs> oh, here comes Snom. Snom. Oh, Snom thought twice. Great choice. Snom now, can't go in there. Not with three people there. Probably now. I mean, he's going to try, but... Stunned. Seven's there to help out Funny Beaver. But Hook goes wide. Survives, setting up vision for the spot side now. Phoenix farming to their heart's content at this moment in time. Augusto going to be caught out gonna get spotted in that top river bush okay emily yeah tpo talk oh my me. gosh 12, 12 floor god oh no 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 lucy. no lucy oh my god a tp comes in god. hello funny beaver wants it oh no phoenix is in the wrong position can it flash out nope no Shut down. oh my god that's a massive bounty. shutdown that's a what was that like a um that's a lot of gold over them 600 gold? 600 gold bounty, yep. Yeah. 600 gold bounty. Eureka por uh, pinging that a few people are alive that are not on the map at this moment in time. Mostly he does not know that Zack is in the top lane. W down on the side for Juicy. But it does look like Juicy may or may not be able to get out. W pop was a little too soon. Aztec holding on to that W, making sure that they can secure the kill. Eureka caught out between a rock and a hard place. Eureka then able to hit Oh that my gosh! Ash snip! Ash runs all the way from the other side of the map. Funny Beaver barely survives, survives his hook. Oh my gosh. And I saw that Ash arrow coming and I was like, oh, oh, this makes me so happy. We've got an ocean drake up in about a minute and 20 seconds. Um, I don't know if like drakes are like essentially like important at this point because it seems like the team fights are going so much smoother and so much better this game number two. I mean, look at the jungler with a 600 gold bounty. This was quite the opposite of game one. I know you missed a lot of the early game, but it was it was a lot of like clear stomping on the side of TPO. And I think maybe they just got like, I, I want to say like maybe I'm, they got a little bit cocky, and now they're like, now Nyx is showing up to the party. Like, hey, y'all yeah, should Eureka, not underestimate us. Uh, oh Eureka, no! You're, your hex, hey, your hex drinker. Okay, here comes Snom coming in. Lucy's oh my about gosh! To go drop. No. Lucy drops to ignite. Survive. Almost dead. Seven goes down. There goes Phoenix with the uh, Qs. The Qs. The Q Q Q. Q Q Q. Um, what are our I survives? We're at sixty-four splinters of wrath on Syndra. What's the score? I just got done in LAS. How'd the how'd the game go, Jim? Tell me, Jimbo, did you win? No, no, they did not. Okay, well, it's seven to eighteen right now, Jim. Uh, the game is going very well on the side of Event Horizon. We might even get a game number three. Oh, the yeah. Juicy's about to get that turret in the top lane. Aztec has been struggling without the help of Snom in the top lane. Um, yeah, the, oh my uh, God. Nyx is showing nice up. Hits. Oh, my nice gosh. Survive. Seven's going down. He's going nice down, 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 down. Juicy. Aztec trying to play aggressive. Not the greatest idea when you're up against the poppy, my son. <laughs> Augusto wants to fight Snom right now, even against Funny Beaver. Nice usage of the ultimate. Funny Beaver does not want to step into that ultimate. That is probably the worst Ooh. thing. Survive trying to flash and kill. Misses it. Funny Beaver getting their turret pushed in from all sides. Nice I love that ward placement. Turret. 
Nice job, guys. Oh my um, god, the sidestep. No, oh, no, no kill. fancy feet. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay. Juicy gets the... Oh my god. Oh, the ult just barely misses. Oh. Nice W from both sides. Good try. Okay, all right. All you, right. you trolled, Probably. Ray. You trolled. <laughs> I saw that Soraka mid, man. This Ash is 10, 2, and 5 with Kraken Slayer and Triforce, where um, Lucy is only has the Static Shiv. Um, I think last time they built Dusk Blade, which is something I've actually started to build on Kaisa. It is absolutely, like, disgusting. You get a kill, we'll you're invulnerable, and it's just, it's great. It's amazing. We'll see how well that they can do against Phoenix Fire, because Phoenix Fire is stepping up saying, I want this mid lane turret. Please give it to me. This is mine now. <laughs> um, I think Blade. that we're about to see the Corky come online here, as they do have the Tiamat, they have the uh, the Mana Moon built. Oh Nobody's got a Dark Seal. Yo! Phoenix standing the 1v1, the 2v1 <laughs> on Lucy. Here comes the Corky. Corky oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what? He's burning. He's yeah. burning. He he just burned Aztec to the ground. Seven, it's it. Going down to Phoenix. Phoenix Fire is showing that fire. Wants to show that fire of what the heck they did to. Like, it was <laughs> not a great feeling. It's called payback time, TPO. It's payback time. Don't go time. in. Don't go in. Nom, you don't want it. Well done, Phoenix Fire getting hit with the W from Lucy. Oh, nice W! Oh, nice nice W too! Oh, there you man. Go. There you go. There's the kill. Oh, Lucy with two kills. Here Double kill. W. Are oh, we gonna. Nope. nope, there it is. Augusto coming in now. Aztec War Priest versus Sevens versus Survive and Augusto. Survive going down. Oh, TP from turret. Corky! Oh, my gosh! There's clean up! Clean up! Down. Nope. Corky does not have package. Does not oh, have damage. no. Turned away. Oh, nice flash. There's the auto. Corky clean oh, up. Oh, my God! Corky coming in hot when they needed it the most. Let's oh, my go, gosh. guys. It is a 6K difference in gold. And they are doing very well on the side of uh, Event Horizon. Uh, so, those of you that decided to say that the poppy w was going to play a major part this isn't playing a major part as i oh had said gosh, as well yes. this is it's literally helping them so much on the side of the horizon um i have to say with the locket of the iron solari on both uh supports they're trying to do their best to kind of protect their their 80 carry they're trying to bring something to the the game. Uh, Zin Dao does hold this uh, Rift Herald. So holds it, and he's going to utilize it probably in the top lane or the mid lane, getting ready for this dragon. We have Chemtech Soul. This Chemtech <laughs> Soul can make everything a lot more difficult for TPO, to be honest. I don't think the TPO can contest it. I know that they're going to try, but the Ash ult is up. The Nautilus is up. Oh my gosh, Aztec, top lane. Aztec getting that 7k gold. Wait, what is Augusto doing in the top lane? Oh no. There's a dragon coming up. He wants Aztec it. Aztec goes Aztec goes down. But the side of Juicy Games oh, no. is getting caught out. Oh, still nice W from the side, making sure that nothing goes wrong. Phoenix Fire on uh, Phoenix Fire and Set Vive both survive and going to the mid lane. But Jin Zhao still has the Herald. Is Jin Zhao gonna pop the Herald right now or is he gonna try to go for the dragon? Because um gonna they say to that he's decision. gonna drop it because he's honestly you he's not dropping it okay he's not dropping it it has Phoenix to be fire. wearing out soon no he's gonna get caught up by magus oh no oh here it comes augusto oh, no. coming in funny beaver taking the damage from the ash oh no no, I'm going in thinking that he can try to do something, but the side of Phoenix Fire is doing so much damage. 
Augusto. Oh, Aztec War Priest having to deal with survive. Alt has to jump back, has to get away. Survive, survives with 10% health and Augusto <laughs> getting this. I'm enjoying saying that, okay? Let Survive, me survives. <laughs> there goes that Herald, by the way. Eureka's yep. already in the process of pushing down bot lane, making it very easy for the side of uh, Event Horizon to take down this bot turret. Augusto saying, what's up? You don't seem, you don't think you're in the right neighborhood? Let me show you the way out really quick. Back to the fountain gray screen simulator style 93 splinters of wrath right now it's too late it is it's too, too late. late it's Phoenix a bit fires too... way too fight he's so it's... fed right now holy crap augusto phoenix fire in the wrong place at the wrong time oh Able no fight backwards yes get away from aztec there you go oh Lumia, oh no try to oh get... no oh no no i'm trying to get him there goes the jump oh my god this game is like it's making my heart stop man 12 to 12 4 and 9 ash 12 2 and 4 zin Zhao. i don't know how much better you're gonna get a comeback in this game well the thing is is that now they just gave up they're both their damage dealers the ash and the Zhao Zhao are both dead corky's not up for 10 seconds but the only two on the actual baron is uh, is syndra aztec and lilia and stop. And now Lucy jumps in. Now survive. Show me what you can do to survive. You're not gonna try to go for it, are you? No, You're no, he it. can't. He can't. Survive I cannot mean... survive. Goodbye, surviving. Oh, here comes Eureka, getting the one kill. Can he get two? Can he get two? Oh my gosh, no! Eureka, nope. get out of no. there. Ash ultimate coming in. No, no, no it just barely missed. No, he, she didn't. That was a hawk. Sh no, it was a hawk. No, okay. There shot. we go. There we go. There we knock, go. Knock. Whoop. Knock, Who's knock. there? What's up, Snom? <laughs> Aztec and Snom both do not know that Phoenix Fire is that close. There goes the shutdown. Sevens is on the other side of Phoenix uh -oh. Fire. Uh-oh. Phoenix, get out. Oh, my God. The lantern. the lantern. This is a typical me moment. We don't take the lantern. I thought oh it was a nid spear, not gonna lie. Yeah, honestly, the, uh, the, uh, it does look like it. Phoenix is on fire, man. Oh, they went with the, uh, wit's end, by the way, instead of the, uh, you know, Runes. rune on hurricane. You know, yep. honestly, it's not bad with the amount of AP that, um, is on... Because I believe that that's what you build, of course, but is that... I don't know. I just go by what I'm told to build. But, uh... Oh, it gives magic damage on hit. All right. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Magic that's actually resist. not a bad... It's not a bad, uh... Pick. I know that it's built commonly on Ash. I prefer the more, um, attack speed. Um... Yeah, so Runins. Yeah. Normally. Yeah, Runins, or you can go, um... What's the other one? Wow, what was that flash? Was oh. that, from, that was Juicy Games trying to get away from... Uh, Sevens and Florgato in them. Survive, making sure that the bot wave is now pushing in for the side of <sighs> Event Horizon. Look at how much push power this team has. Oh my god, oh, yeah. Seven, going for the kit flash hook. It does not work well. Stop on no. the other side. Phoenix Fire in the wrong spot, but looks like they were able to flash away. Aztec War Priest right there, making it oh very difficult god. for Phoenix Fire to get out. Phoenix Fire autoing, still getting away. Not able to get no. away. Augusto still up. So is Eureka. But they do not know where exactly they are. But now they know where Augusto is. Where is Eureka? They don't know. None of their business. Where did he go? Where did he come from? <laughs> no. Hey, yo, we got another Chemtech. Let's go. All right. Eureka trying to help out. Trying to make sure it's all nice and easy. It's, I don't know. I... This this game could go in the wrong direction that we were on not expecting, Emily. You know what? I think when Phoenix gets back in, I I don't think that um that they're gonna go down without a massive fight here. I mean, like you've got so much damage coming out from this Ash. Um, they're about like all they're almost fifty CS up. Um, the only one else with a lane CS advantage is top. On the side of Cheezer. Oh, oh, nice stun from Florida. the side of 
loose. Oh my gosh, that's a humongous shutdown. That is a big shutdown. This They're is this is a fight. fight. Yep. They're, They're coming in hot, man. Ash doesn't have all or doesn't have a uh, her their alt, matter. but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Go for the go for Lucy. Go for Lucy. Shut him down, please. Oh. Wait. Where's Phoenix? Oh my gosh. It's like Phoenix a got deleted. Looks like a rat trapped in a quarter. Oh my gosh. That was that was a massive fight. And uh, that shuts everyone on the side of Nyx down. This game has completely turned around. What is it? 400k gold difference? 28 to 39 in 26 minutes. More kills and now, minutes in the game. And now it's their even gold. Now, yeah, yeah, they have such a lead. Um, I just, like, I wanted to see them capitalize on that lead, and it just seems like they fell just a tiny bit short. Aztec is building full, right. <laughs> full damage up there. He wants to make it so that they can't kill him. Yep. I think he's, the last thing he needs is just a death dance. Um, he's gonna go for uh, so he's got Bork. He's got a Moral Shield bow now. He's going oh for Bloodthirster. Blood <laughs> he oh doesn't want to die. He doesn't want to die. Uh, bleeding hurts. Please, no touch. Um, I'm a little he's bit basically. confused on the uh, Horizon Focus Bill on Kaisa. I'm not gonna lie, I would have gone for Rabadons if you want to go for that AP build. Oh, there you go. Uh, nice, nice fight nice, on the side of Red Horizon. Nice, nice, Aztec nice. is going for the Ash. You need to peel for the Ash, please. Peel, 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 peel. Oh my gosh, peel. This Ash, look at the Ash. Look at the Ash's movement right yeah. now. Yeah. There you go. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh. Phoenix Fire on oh fire, gosh. but. Oh my god, you just gave Lucy a triple kill. Oh. This is it. They, they, sh they shut Lucy down. They don't have their ADC. They only have Snom and Funny Beaver. I don't think that they can end That's this enough. game. That's enough. That's you enough think it's enough? Their base. I, th I think it's enough for them to start opening up their base to make it a very large concern. You've got um, Augusto Zindel coming up in five seconds. You've got Survive in seven seconds. Poppies in ten. Oh, they, do, I, they, they can't do, end. They don't, they don't have they any don't inhibs either. down. The wits and buy of destiny. <laughs> this is true. No, seriously. Uh, it Snom is. jumped immediately onto uh, Phoenix, and it was helping them so well. So Why everyone. Buy a good item with... um... Oh my god, you're being sarcastic. Fuck you, Zero. <laughs> Zero, <B. laughs> Um, Everyone is up on the side of Nyx. Everyone has their ultimates on both this? sides. They're going to force, gonna force it. it. They're they gonna force, force this. Oh, they we have that a they mini a spectator delay bug, I guess. I'm frozen. I don't know about you, but I'm not. Oh my God, Lucy went no. in. There it goes. Yeah, I'm frozen. Phoenix Fire needs to stay away. Phoenix Fire needs to get away. There we go. I'm gonna get. Like, What's your I'm time? Gonna, I'm, I'm at like, twenty-eight thirty-five. Twenty-eight fifty-seven. Yeah, Eight. I would back it up a little bit. Nine. I'm at 41, 42, 43. Massive fight here. Corky shuts down Kaisa. Holy crap. Let me let me know when you're 2904. Nope. Um, let me know. 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 59. No, I keep freezing. I got some type of spectator bug. Oh no. But it does look like they're going to be able to take away the Baron on the side of Event Horizon. Event Horizon played that fight very well, losing no one. Three for the chance for the price of nothing. Yeah, it's a. I'm a, I'm a freeze right now. I Is don't know what's going. Right yeah, look at the stream, Lopo. Yeah, I'm looking. This happened to me game one yesterday. Um, I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm watching this amazing game. Emily's, you know. Yeah, I'm like off somewhere. She's in La La Land. Jim, what did you get to unfreeze it yesterday? Jim.
Just have Lupo go back to 29 minutes, or 29 and pause, okay. Okay, got it. Eventually, the small indie company will work. Try to pause and unpause, okay. Oh my gosh, this is paused at the most inopportune time, man. Oh my god. Small indie company, guys. I swear to god. So, oh. how about them Dodgers? I'm kidding. Right? I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm Californian. So... Let's see if I back it up a little bit. If I can play it from there, no? There we go, I had to back it up about a minute. All right. All right, so get over to, I'm over at 29, I'm waiting on you. Yep, I'm gonna see if it lets me get past 29. 28, 41, 42. All right, I'm coming up on 29. Let's see, is it going to do the same thing it did again? It's going to, yep. For some reason, you know what? Let me see if I can. I don't want to disconnect and then reconnect. Jim. Let's see, can I just... Alright, uh, nope, we're back at 29. I hate this thing. Spectator delays suck, man. I can't go past 29. You can't? Mm-mm. I can literally do nothing. Like, get stuck. Oh, man. Yeah. I wish there was a way I can get your, um, let's see, can I get, can you share your screen? I'm going to see if I can pull it out. Let's see. Um, let's watch stream and I'm going to pull it out um and see if I can get this um grid nope um I'll see if I can switch my view Just like have sure. All right. Um. Let's see if I can do this. Um. All right. Loophole. Go ahead and press. Actually, mute. I'm coming into office. Okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna put on a very, very. Uh, Lupo we'll just talked about your life or something. Okay. I have a nice cat. His name is T'Challa. He's the greatest cat in the world. If I can show him on camera, he'd be great. But all he does is sleep whenever I'm playing video games or streaming or casting. He doesn't mind me yelling. Um, let's play uh, Lupo do you gritty. Bro, you didn't play Shaco. That's your fault. You didn't, you didn't play Shaco, so I'm not going to hit the gritty. All right, Lupo, go play. We're going to watch it off your screen because uh, this is not working. Awesome. Side of Event Horizon doing very well work, making sure that uh, TPO cannot do anything um, about this Baron. So now their choices are to reset and not push in. 
that's perfectly fine because this is going to help out. Ash decides to go Maw of Valores. Interesting choice of uh, items, by the way. Instead of going the straight up attack speed, they're going yeah. the W. Um, trying to get all that W damage as they possibly can instead of the attack speed. Because currently, right now, if I look at Ash, Ash currently has 1.90, uh, 1.92 attack speed. Normally, Ash is love to go uh, straight up attack speed. Come on, direct the camera. Thank you. But, you know, on the side of Event Horizon, they are doing very well staying into this game. Now they have the Baron to play. Uh, let's see what they do with it. Because with what we can... Let me... I forgot how to get rid of the uh, timer thing. But um, like... Go to the eye and then go to time controls. Go to eye, time controls. My bad. I forgot about that. It's been forever. There we go. And we're good to go. Oh, they're just going to push down top lane? Yes, they are. Looks like they are. Uh, Phoenix Fire and both Eureka able to do massive work, making sure that they push away any kind of obstacle that they have. But their wave is completely gone. All they have is that lone cannon trying to do all the work that they can do. But on the other side of the map, it looks like Snob took the dragon. They are going for Chemtech Soul. Oh my uh, gosh. That is comple that's completely up to you, Jim, if you want to. I'm not sure if we go into game if we are going to game two or if we're going to game three. We'll have to wait and see. Yes, Augusto, Jim, take over up. production. Trying to get at least one person not a and completely unable to take Bonnie Beaver out of the game, unfortunately. Uh, oh my gosh, uh, that uh, Ash Arrow went wide. Unfortunate. Sorry about the two. whole. Um, yes, this is game two. Sorry about the whole delay, guys. Apparently, a small indie company, so. Spaghetti code. Spaghetti code. Spaghetti, Spaghetti code. code. <laughs> they can't get it right. So uh, apparently. Um, all right, so let's see. What is What are these teams going to do? Um, without spoilers from the chat. Um, it looks because Aztec decided to hit, tell me to hit the gritty. Juicy Games getting caught out. Snom also getting caught out. But Phoenix is trying to kite backwards, trying to get away from Snom. But having to blow a flash, where is Eureka? Eure Eureka is getting Eureka. Bit out. Ooh, nice snipe from the Kaiser. Aztec War Priest split pushing in the top lane, doing exactly what he Hello, should Hello, Juggernaut? Do. Wait, there's, there's no Hallbreaker. <laughs> no, Juggernaut can't play Young, okay? I mean, hey, I was trying to be nice here, man. Eureka trying to take out Lucy from this game. Nice, Zonias. Bill dies. But it does look like the Ash Arrow does go completely wide. On the side. What Are they going to shove it in? They can shove it in. They can even this even though they don't have Baron, they they are literally kind of shoving this in. Survive does not survive. Here comes the <laughs> game. Aztec War Priest. Living what the heck is that lifesteal? I told you. Now he's gonna go for the uh what is that thing? Uh Guardian Angel and he's just gonna be unkillable. Same. Uh they also are pinging we see pings coming from the side of Event Horizon saying this is soul for them. If they get four Chemtechs, they will be unkillable. Oh no. Especially the Aztec. Aztec but, is know. a menace. I mean, they do have an open inhib, so they do have super pushing in the top side. Literally all for, uh, tier one turrets all are down. Turrets. All yeah. inhib turrets are down for the side of TPO. But they seem to be able to wave clear very well on the side of TPO. The Kaisa wave clear is nutso strange And Syndra also does a very well job of uh, of cleaning up the wave. Um, we see pings coming down from both sides, trying to make sure that they can try to get some vision. Turn your chat off. <laughs> Why? Turn my chat off? Yeah. 
I mean, there's no bad word. No. Bad <laughs> yeah. No. Nope. The minute nope. that you add Aztec, you know what's coming through. It, it's gonna be. It's gonna be basically just unfortunate circumstances for the side of uh, my stream. <laughs> um, Cheezer has definitely made an insane comeback here. Ash Arrow comes oh. in and connects. Let's go. Oh, but here comes Aztec with the uh, inability to die. Oh, he dies. Phoenix Whoa. Fire still is alive. Well done to them. Eureka going for the Zach. Oh my Baron gosh. coming up in 15 seconds. Oh, Luffy nice poppy up. stun. Unable to do a lot of damage, unfortunately. But it does look like the side of Event Horizon is going to. They're go going to the try and go for this Baron. And they're going to go for Baron to uh, the dragon. I mean, the only the person dragon. that they're missing is Aztec on the side of Cheezer. So honestly, um, yeah, I, I don't even know what to say because they're. Nyx is just playing this out really well. Unfortunately, they let Aztec get way too far into the game. Oh, and this, this is Syndra is insane. The splinters now mean something. Now, it's going to be a 50-50 smite from the side of uh, TPO and Nyx. But here comes Aztec. Problem child number one. Juicy Games is caught out. Augusto trying to deal as much heal as possible. Phoenix Fire in the back line, but here comes Snom coming in. Oh my gosh, here comes the wipe. Oh no. There's the triple kill. Quadra kill? Uh. No Penta. No Penta! No Penta. Oh no. Wow, it looks like Cheezers made this a 2 and 0 oh game. No way. How this on is earth? Insane. How on earth? Did they do that? You said it. You said it. Aztec I know. was the problem, and they and Nyx did not utilize it as well as they could have. The lead was not utilized. Jesus turned the tables. Jesus turned the tables. Uh, Jesus oh did God. turn the table. All right, we're going to go to... Um, the <laughs> no... All right, I'm just gonna bring us back to uh, client lobby. Um, unfortunately, you guys have to watch a little screen with um, all of these stuff. Um, I just want to thank everyone for coming out. Sorry about the issues with uh, with the uh, small uh, indie company, but um, we, we will be you. back. Uh, later on, I believe, this week. Um, so thank you all for tuning in. Sorry about all the issues. Um, this does make it 2-0 and oh for Cheezers. Uh, great play on both sides. Um, I am going to raid all of you over to the Amateur League. So, um, oh yeah, who was the MVP vote? I, I don't know how to do that, Jim, please. Um, by the way, you guys can find me over at Loopal. No. I'm Twitch. I'm plugging myself. Uh -huh. Jim said no. Don't do it. Jim said no? Yeah. Wait, what? Um, I didn't hear a no. I'm kidding. I'm messing with you. <laughs> um, I'm, no, I'm probably going to give MVP to... I would give it to um, either Lucy, Lucy or Aztec. Unfortunately, I have to go with Aztec. Yeah. <laughs> and when we quit, stop betting against us... <laughs> Listen, I have to do whatever the opposite of whatever Loophole does, so. MVP, MVP is, is Boris. Boris. Who the who is Boris? What? Um, but honestly, in all honesty, I think Phoenix Fire played very well this game. But as Absolutely. Tech, from what I saw in game one and game two, Loophole won't hit the gritty, but he'll call me MVP. Uh, I, you didn't play Shaco. What were the terms? Emily, tell me what the terms were. The terms were, were the that gritty. you had to play... Shaco top lane to get uh, the the MVP or uh, for for Lupul to to go gritty. So yeah, you didn't play Shaco top, you lose. Um, exactly. Thank you. Okay. All right. <laughs> moving on. All um, right. Um, this is gonna be it for us. Um, I'm having some issues with uh, pulling um anything, and my OBS is kind of acting up. So I'm gonna end the stream here, guys. 
good good play. Thank you all for coming out and um let's go support our um other caster cat who is in the ALL amateur league org. So you guys all have a great night. Lupul and I are signing out. There's